with a Surface Book. This is a top of the line model with the i7-6600 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, 13.5 inch screen, 512 gigabytes hard drive, and a GE Force N40M. Boy, that's better than my shotgun. If you're looking for a tablet that can be as powerful as a desktop, this is your answer. The N40M GPU comes with one gigabyte of memory. And for all you webcamers out there, this thing's got two webcams. 8 megapixel rear and a 5 megapixel in the front. 1080p video recording. This thing's as loud as my 10 gallon hat. Coming in at 1.6 pounds as a tablet, 3.34 pounds as a laptop. It's so light my little girl can carry it around. But if your pen's ass can't handle this, you can just downgrade to the Surface Pro 4. Clocking in at 1.77 pounds. Alright, now let's get trucking. All right, here it is, Surface Book. Looks like a typical laptop. Kind of on the thicker end. It's about an inch and a quarter thick. have the manual in here which I'm not gonna read and we got the stylus and then we got the power cord over here let's see how big it is I can't carry too much so it's the same size as the Surface Pro 4 very compact and portable put that aside box was heavy. It's heavier than the laptop. Here it is. Surface book. Again, this is a top of the line model. 4i7. 16 gigs of RAM. NVIDIA N40M. 512 gigabyte SSD. Top of the line. It costs about three grand. So as you can all tell, Keyboard is a typical laptop keyboard. You got your palm rest on the side. You got a nice big trackpad. The keys have a lot of feedback, a lot of room, space in between the keys. Typical laptop layout with your shift and control numbers at the top. Surface Book is marketed as a two-in-one laptop. For this very reason, the keyboard and the monitor, the tablet, they go hand in hand together. They're connected by a dynamic fulcrum right here, which expands as you pull back. Nothing special there. But the key thing to remember is that these two are dependent on each other. As soon as you open the tablet out of the box, you can't disconnect the tablet until this boy has been charged up through the wall. Unfortunately, mine was dead when it arrived. So I had to charge it up to 20%. Now that both elements are charged, what I can do is turn on my computer. What I do is go to this key, I push it. Actually, I hold it down, it turns red, and I push it again. It's gonna turn green, and there, now it's unlocked and you can pull it away. So it's a very complicated process, and the reason for that is that there are two batteries. There actually is one battery in the keyboard, another battery in the tablet. Now, the NVIDIA N40M is stored in the keyboard right here, not in the tablet. So, there's kind of this power play that you're gonna have to deal with. If y'all don't believe me, I'll show you right now. There it is. Battery one, battery two. So you actually have to have both pieces charged at 100% if you want to take full functionality. That brings me to my next point. If you want to conserve battery, you actually want to disconnect your keyboard from the tablet because like I said, the graphics card is stored in this piece. So if this guy is connected to him, he's gonna eat up the battery from here. 
So once you disconnect the keyboard, this thing is going to last a lot longer. So I'm going to I'm going to connect the screen back on. Now it's locked in. Now coincidentally, I have the Surface Pro 4 here, which I can show you how similar it is or how different it is from Surface Book. These two laptops are about as different as my brother and sister. The biggest difference, of course, is the screen. You got 12.3 inches on the Surface Pro, 13.5 on the Surface Book. A lot more real estate to work with over there. These are both touchscreen laptops. So, you can use the same stylus for both. In fact, they are the same stylus for both. They both have the clicker on the top, as well as the second button right here on the side. In terms of portability, it's a no-brainer. Surface Pro 4 is a lot lighter. It's a lot thinner. Surface Book like I said, it's over three pounds, so it's a little on the heavier side. And look at that thickness. I'm going to compare both of them. Well, it's significantly thicker. Of course, with the Surface Pro 4, you don't have to juggle or worry about two separate batteries. The Surface Book is more of a professional gaming entertainment laptop that you can take on the go, but also disconnect and use as a tablet. The Surface Pro 4 is more of a tablet computer with a keyboard add-on. It all depends on who you are. Remember, this guy costs about $1,000. This guy costs three grand. The price for performance and portability is a high one. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. We're going to have an in-depth review for both of these laptops soon. We're going to have some benchmarks and some gaming tests. See you soon.